Uh, but I just want to let you know I'm retiring as far as my face goes from uh, making face videos. Well, I mean, that's not true, though, is it? That's just a complete blatant lie. I maintain a strict code of integrity. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to stomp on your dreams. You may want that to be the case, but that's literally never going to happen. You keep trying to do things to your channel that will end up damaging it further for your weird, petty, prideful reasons when it's totally unnecessary and you're never going to follow through with it, like starting a new channel under the guise of character where you're only going to do comedy stuff. No! You, you love money. <laughs> Let's be real here. We all know you love money. You're not going to do something that will massively impact your ability to make money on this website. And just, just shut up. <laughs> just shut up. Don't give me any stupid reasons while you're doing it about how narcissistic the platform is and how toxic everyone is. Just get on with it and just shut up. <laughs> so, let's have a little chat about Anision, shall we? Because he seems to have uploaded like 40 videos in one day. Because that's very necessary. He was doing these freak out videos, right? Getting a lot of subscribers, getting a lot of views, a lot of views. He probably raked in a huge amount of money doing those. Then he was caught out by Chris Hansen and then decided to tell everyone that they're fake, even though he was clearly trying to make them seem real. You know, that is the only reason his channel's been getting any views at all at the minute. So, because he's so smart, because he's so business savvy, He's decided to upload like 40 videos in one day because that's not just going to put everyone off of watching your videos. They all have one word titles. They all have the same thumbnail. We have no idea what the content is. Do you expect the public that hates you are going to trawl through 40 videos each 10 to 20 minutes long? No! Like, what are you doing? You keep doing such stupid things that are going to end up destroying your channel. I don't get it. You, you can see the views going down and down and down from video to video. Why do you bother? Is my real question here. Anyway, hello guys. How you doing? Thank you so much for joining me. Do you like my t-shirt? Pretty seasonal. He's got sunglasses so I can wear it in the summer. <laughs> Not that it's the summer, but still. Welcome to the channel. My name's Physic. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, please do leave it a like and smash that subscribe button, guys. Come on, let's, let's get up to 15k. We need to do this. We need to... We need to do this! Yeah, come on! If you want to help me even further, you can donate to my channel via PayPal in the description, or you can join my Patreon and get lots of exclusive content. So, let's connect up to the neural network and see if we can understand a little bit more about this android's soulless brain CPU chip. Let's do it. When you're a YouTuber, it's basically like the most narcissistic job in the world. Hey, everyone, look at me. I mean, it's not. You're kind of just projecting and you do this so frequently it's ridiculous. Maybe this is how he's so deluded into thinking he's the most real and honest YouTuber because he, all he watches are trash YouTubers. Well, yeah, maybe you are more honest than those people, which is probably a massive stretch. Again, Anision is relentlessly dishonest and manipulative. But I'm making this video because I just want to ask, if you guys ever see me in public, don't approach me. Don't talk to me, don't ask for a hug, don't ask for a selfie. <clears throat> and this is a fine example of how Anision just does not give a damn about his subscribers in any way, shape or form. He disabled comments, literally stopping you from being able to contact him or give him feedback on any of his videos. He's now removed his Twitter, so you have no way of communicating with him there. Essentially, he only cares about you if you pay him money. Like when he had Patreon, like with his Discord, he'll only talk to you if you actively pay him money. It's not like watching his channel is supporting him and making him money. No! You have to literally hand money to me for me to care. And now, you can't approach him in public. Yeah, I get that he's got haters, but he's not talking about that. He's talking about people wanting to take selfies with him. What is your problem? Is this some thing about pride? Is this some sort of statement you're making about how you don't want to be attached to your ego or something? So you aren't going to show your face and you don't want to talk to your fans in public? I don't want to talk to you if you see me on public. I don't want a selfie with you. I don't want you to ask me for my autograph. 
I don't get your tone, Inision. Why are you constantly talking to people as if they're idiots? As if they're beneath you? As if they're bad people or something? Like, why are you speaking so condescendingly? I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to take a picture with you. Ugh! Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to come near you, disgusting scum? Get away from me! Why speak like this to your fans? <laughs> don't want you to take a picture when I'm not looking or anything like that. I just, if I see your phone up, I'll have a talk. If you're working at a place, I'll have a talk with your manager and I might try to get you fired for trying to take a picture of me if I'm with my family. Yeah, but that's different. Someone taking a picture of you from a distance is different. But if someone asks to take a selfie with you and you then try and get them fired from their job for doing that, you are actually insane. You have never and probably will never encounter a more real YouTuber and your life, I hate. When I think of YouTubers, I just think of hatred. What, what are you talking about? Do you even know what the word real means? Do you know what the word honest means? Essentially to you, being honest and real is being a horrible person, being cruel, being callous, a cold, terrible, evil being. That is your essential definition of being honest and real. Like with your rate me videos, you would say, oh, one out of 10, ugh. You look like my ex-wife. Ugh. What? Oh no, Onision's about to say something negative, but don't worry. She says, be harsh as per usual, good sir. First off, I will say that you look like my ex-wife. Secondly, I'd rate you a 5 out of 10. <laughs> You've rated this girl on how attractive she is, but I'm sorry she looks like she's about 13 years old. And regardless of that, you rated her in a horrible way, making a very rude and harsh comment. How do you think she feels about that? You claim to be this helpful guru or whatever, but you're just destroying these girls' self-confidence and probably now destroying the confidence of your fans, the only people that are left in the world that actually like you and you won't give them the time of day. Don't you think that's insane? Like, there are a few people that are still clinging on and giving you respect but you won't give them the time of day i think that's mental you have lost so much respect from everyone everyone hates you at this point so why are you still <laughs> acting as if everyone's an idiot except from you it's so ridiculous but mate you're not real what do you mean by that you're you're awful manipulative liar S so i don't understand in what way do you think you're real what, because you're rude to everyone? Is that how you're real? Every other channel that I watch is more real than you. Every single one of them. God damn. Like, I just hate YouTubers. Because, like, we're all the face, you know? We're, we're face, face, look at me, look at me, I'm so special. Mm. Oh my god, just, just, oh, oh. Just, oh my god. Th right, this is essentially me every time I watch an Anision video. So if you're done coming up with terrible ideas, um, I'm gonna go back to bed. A meat bomb! You, 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 you blow it up. I mean, let's just take the thing. I'm going in the crevice. No, 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 Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Don't go in the crevice. Charlie, don't go in the crevice. I'm going in the crevice, Don't go in the crevice. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> that is a really funny clip. <laughs> Who is like that? Who? You s always do this, you speak as if this is the same for all YouTubers. This is a very small group of idiots that you shouldn't even be giving the time of day. Like, why would you? Like, people like Jake Paul and Logan Paul. You know, really arrogant, narcissistic people, or yourself. You know, we don't care about the mass majority of our viewers. We pretend we do, but we don't. Because when you critically think about it, What's the difference between two and three thousand viewers? Four and five thousand viewers? Do you know each of those individual viewers? Of course you don't. You don't care. You don't care. Like, what the hell is your point? No, obviously you don't know every one of the millions of subscribers that are subscribed to your channel. Does that mean you shouldn't care about them in any way? Just because you don't know them personally doesn't mean that you shouldn't care about them. I have. 14,500 subscribers, and I have a lot of care for all of you guys. I don't love you guys deeply in a personal way because I don't know you, but I have a lot of respect for you guys because you watch my content, uh, you leave me lovely, lovely comments that cheer me up and get me through the day. You know, I have regular viewers, I have my streaming buddies, and, you know, all of you guys together help me to be the person I am, help me to get further with my channel. 
So, you have to be a cold, horrible person to just say, Oh, I don't know you, so therefore I don't care. You're not paying me money at the end of the day, so... Off you go, buddy! Pay up or get out. <laughs> that's my wonderful philosophy. You guys are just below me, and that's the, that's the simple fact of it. You're beneath me. You're a little ant, and I will poop on your head. So, woo, off you go. What about the big YouTubers who have 1 million views today? Tomorrow it's 2 million views. Would it make a difference? 1.5 million? It's 500,000 people difference. How do you know the difference? Do you know your audience? Have you met each and every single fan? Of course you haven't. Mate, you make so many videos like this these days, I feel like you've kind of given up. Because you're no longer making remotely good content, I'm afraid. And, you know, obviously I don't like him as a person in any way, shape or form. He annoys me and, you know. But uh, he's just given up. He's not even doing any interesting editing. He doesn't do anything to the content. He just rambles for 10 minutes straight, 20 minutes maybe, and that's it. That's content. Great. And all the time, everything he says, he's trying to make it seem like it's some grand revelation. Like this. What, what is your point? No, I don't know every one of my subscribers. Who, who, who says that they do? No one says that. No one thinks that. Yeah, you get these, you know, these kind of more false and fake YouTubers that sort of say, Oh, I love you guys so much. But then still, all it is is a nice statement to show your fans that you appreciate them. You have to be such a cold, heartless monster to just say that that's a stupid thing to do. Why bother? I don't know you, so I don't care. Great. What is wrong with you? What has happened to your brain? I don't think you got enough hugs as a child, to be honest. If one per if you died, you specifically watching this video right now, if you died, would I notice? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Boom! Bombshell! Whoa! You've just blown my mind there. I mean, sorry, what? S so what? What is your point? I don't know you exist. Like, literally, and I know this is going to sound terrible, and you guys can edit it out of context and do whatever you want, but you're literally just a number until you become not a number. You're literally just a number until you pay me enough money for me to notice you. So, if you died, I wouldn't know. I don't care. Your whole family could die. I don't care. You're just pathetic little scumbag number. Like, you're just a little ant. You're just a little pathetic little nothingness. That's what you are. My fans. You know, the, the only people still giving me the time of day. You're just pathetic nothingness. And I don't care. <laughs> so, when YouTubers are like, <laughs> Guys, each and every one of you is so special. <laughs> it's all a phony dance of disgusting lies and betrayal and right this is my exact point you are literally rambling what are you betrayal betrayal and you're just saying random words you're just chucking random words together oh that's a kind of smart sounding word let's put these together oh betrayal an infestation an infestation of the most evil levels of narcissistic, egotistical, prideful, self master. What? What are you talking about? What, the f what are you talking about? What the ever loving hell are you talking about? What the infestations of evil? Hey fans, you know, I really love you guys, you really mean a lot to me. Infestation of evil, prideful, narcissistic, betrayal. You know, I, I I so appreciate the support you give to my channel. Maybe literally calm down. Maybe do that. Maybe just relax, okay? You know, not everyone is a terrible, evil person. I know this is just constant barrage of projection but just can't to type to tone it down a bit i don't want to have my face on camera anymore and i actually didn't want to have my face on camera before but because you guys were going on this big witch hunt i wanted to talk about it you didn't want to have your face on camera before what when 
What do, you, what do you mean? You've always had your face on camera, you clearly like having your face on camera. And by the way, how does taking your face out of your videos change anything? It doesn't, because, you know, you're still saying the same stuff. Me showing my face isn't an act of narcissism. Basically, you're just trying to prove some stupid point that no one in the world cares about, which is inevitably going to affect your channel in a negative way, so then you're just going to give up doing it and revert back to normal. If that doesn't happen, I'll delete my channel. For good. No jokes. More rumors are probably going to come up, and I might address those in the future. I say more rumors come up because r this is how rumors form. So-and-so painted themselves black and then ran out in public and said, Hey, look, it's black body. And now you have to go on this apology tour about how you're not actually racist. And you're just painting your body black in the face mask to see if it was good for all of your skin, not just your face. Again, mate, that's literally a lie in every way, shape, or form. Um, you know, previously, I've talked about this in a video before, you wore blackface in a video intentionally to aggravate a certain race of people. He was talking about a girl with braided hair and said that this girl clearly doesn't wash her hair and would rather be with someone who doesn't have hair that smells like dead rats. That is the most judgmental and stupid comment when you really have no idea what you're talking about. I don't understand why you said that. You don't have braided hair, how would you know uh, what it's like to regularly maintain a hairstyle like that? You don't. So he made a video called Do All Lives Matter? Which isn't really even a question he talks about in the video. He Again, he just says something stupid. And with the girl with the braided hair, people got annoyed. Obviously, because you're being incredibly judgmental to anyone ha that has that kind of a hairstyle. So people were upset. And then you said, why have you guys all got to make this about race? It's like, what? Now, guys, let me know down in the comments. Would you say that that is racist? I'll paint you a picture here like he painted his face. He was doing a video discussing black versus white hair. Uh, people were very upset at him because he offended a large group of people, a whole race of people, by saying a specific type of hair uh, suited to them uh, probably isn't washed and probably smells like dead rats. So, when discussing everyone being upset about this, he wore blackface in the video. Yeah, at the start he was like, yeah, I'm just wearing this face mask, and it's black, blah blah blah. No one does that! You don't just do that, you don't just put on a black face mask when talking about race. Either you're a moron, you're so clueless to how that would be offensive, or you're intentionally being racist. Either way, you've done something awful, so you're not wriggling your way out of this one. And now, what? You've painted your whole body black? very clearly just to upset people oh i just wanted to see what it was, would be like if i wear a face mask all over my body that was black yeah i was just doing a scientific experiment no 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 <laughs> <laughs> and then he acts as if we're the dumb ones for having a problem with that <laughs> Being a YouTuber is basically a nightmare. Nobody should be a YouTuber. You do one thing and all your fans will abandon you, okay? One thing, if you're Tobuscus and one random girl says something nasty about you, your whole career is over. Well, I mean, no. Rumors can be rumors and rumors can be bad on their own. But when you've actually done, uh, you know, like 10 years worth of damage to massive amounts of people, then it's a little bit warranted, mate. She spreads a rumor about you. Oh, sorry, Johnny Depp, your career's over. Just like that, because Swan Random Bimbo spread a rumor, and we're just gonna believe them because we couldn't possibly live with ourselves if we ever thought, hmm, women lie just like men lie. Go figure. That's not a revelation. Like, everyone's fully aware of that. That's not even a thing. No one thinks that women are incapable of lying. And I assume you're, you know, now referring to Sarah as if she's a terrible, evil person and you're the victim in this situation. It is hilarious that you still think that's the case. Let me tell you something about people who are victims. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to go in front of a camera and relive that moment. What? 
how do you have a massive knowledge about victims <laughs> that obviously puts you in a bad light but you don't have a big knowledge of victims at all i'm sorry but what are you now just deciding how every victim should act in any given situation what are you really oh my god you try and act like you're this smart intelligent person well you try and act like you're the smartest and most intelligent person on the platform when in reality you're you're pretty thick you're you're pretty goddamn thick if you say stuff like this if you just assume any victim would act the same way yeah you know obviously that isn't the case uh, what you're really doing is you're trying to manipulate everyone because you're that real because you're that real you can't help but lie to everyone on a regular basis you're so real they don't want to have anyone exchanged ideas or give their opinions on it they don't want people to look at them as a person who went through something like that they don't want to do anything with that typically so therefore sarah is lying and uh i'm the real victim here not her case closed wow you're such a smarty pants <laughs> we figured it out no victims act in very different ways in any given situation how, how could you possibly think that she would act in just one way she would just hide away because that's what you're used to isn't it you're used to girls not speaking up against you you're used to them just slipping away into the background well no finally someone has actually stood up to you and you don't know what to do about it you're kind of freaking out which is obvious people who go in front of camera and go yeah this happened and i hate them because they're this this and this tobuscus is a monster these aren't victims these are the most disgraceful people on earth you're you're so delusional you are so out of your mind and you're very clearly talking about sarah in the tiny chance that he isn't ignore what i'm saying but in the very real <laughs> point that he is she's one of the most disgraceful people in the world because she's decided to speak up against you a, a horrendous bully a you know a sexual harasser and then a groomer <laughs> Ah, you're not used to it, are you? So you don't know what to do. And the reason they're the most disgraceful people on earth is because they're willing to put all real victims under their boot and crush them for the sake of 15 minutes of fame. That's right, guys. All victims should just shut up and disappear into nothingness. Never speak about what they've gone through so that all of us, all of us psychos get away with it time and time again. You hear that, victims? Slip away now. Get out, get out, get away. Just slip into the background. <laughs> Be serious, mate. Be real about this. You're just worried because you don't know what to do and you're not used to it. Sarah spoke up and now everyone is and it's great. It's actually fantastic. <laughs> you don't know what to do. And if they start a GoFundMe or a Venmo for money too. And you guys can't tell the difference between the truth and a lie if it punched you in your face. I mean, that's also not true. You're now lashing out at people aggressively because you're you're backed into a corner and you're getting desperate and you don't really know what to do but the fact is you don't need to guess the difference between the truth and a lie when there is hordes of evidence backing up what you've done you're the one who said that you were bullying her that's one of the main problems i have considering you were her guardian she was under your care she had moved a long way to live with you from a damaged home she was already a victim and that's what you do you take broken young girls and you manipulate them and you abuse them this is exactly what you've done with just about every girl you've ever been with mate um it's because it's you're heartless and you don't care you don't see what you're doing is wrong because you don't think it's wrong so this girl is uh, maybe because she's come from a bit, a bit of a dodgy home she's she's fine with being a bit more you know she's fine with standing up against people like you and that's great that's actually great anyway guys um 
that's my little piece on this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, smash that subscribe button. Smash the like button. Let's get up to 15k. Let's do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching again. If you want to support me any further, I have PayPal links for donations in the, de in the description as well as my link to Patreon. So, wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.